my kids had outgrown this uh, Razor Pocket Mod electric scooter, so I wanted to sell it. I went to turn it on, and uh, the wheel wouldn't spin. So probably a battery issue. Uh, let's open it up and take a look. Getting the seat off is pretty easy. It flips open, and then there's just four screws. Pull that off, and voila. You know, you're staring down at two batteries sitting underneath uh, just a piece of plastic to help brace them. Take that off, and then there's a Velcro strap. Uh, it actually takes a little bit of time and definitely two hands to get that guy off. So what we're looking at is two batteries connected in series. That's a fuse uh, connecting positive to negative of the batteries. And then the outermost battery connections are wired into a clip that is either taking in uh, charge when it's plugged in or is feeding out to the motor when the thing is operating. So if we get the clip off, we get the batteries out. Getting the clip off is a little tricky. Uh, I found the best way to do it was to turn the batteries on their side and give your hands a little bit of clearance. And once you do that, it's just a little bit of wiggling. That clip will come out. I did a couple of quick checks to make sure that the batteries were the likely problem. This is two 12 volt batteries wired in series, so they should be showing at least 24 volts and we're getting about 21. So yeah, probably a battery issue. I also checked the charger itself, make sure it was outputting uh, the right voltage it seemed to be. I plugged the charger into the scooter and then measured voltage across that clip that we unclipped and that seemed fine as well. Yeah, so let's order some batteries. The marker on here says 6DW-7. I did some research on Amazon and found some batteries that were compatible, seemed highly rated. I'll put a link to them in the description. They were $30 for the pair, which seemed reasonable. I'm hoping to sell the scooter for $100 or more. The old batteries have their terminals covered by what appears to be silicon. My thought was I could get the silicon off and reuse the connectors on the new batteries. I spent some time uh, digging and clawing, and unfortunately it turned out that these were soldered on, uh, so I wasn't going to be able to reuse the connectors. So save yourself a little time, go right for the snips, cut the wires. I happen to have some heat shrink tubing laying around from other projects and that can be useful when you're wiring up something that could possibly get wet. So I slipped some length of tubing over the wire and then I put the stripped end into a new battery terminal connector. Now these connectors, it turns out, come in two sizes, a quarter inch and three sixteenths inch. The batteries that I'm replacing and that I bought have the smaller connector, the three sixteenth. I had trouble finding that size, so I went ahead and used uh, quarter inch connectors. They, they fit snugly on the battery terminal, and since I'm planning to put silicon around them to secure them, I'm not really worried about them uh, falling off during use of the scooter. So same process, just three more times, cutting the wire, stripping the wire, putting heat shrink tubing on, and then crimping on a quarter inch battery terminal connector. When you buy these clips, make sure also that they'll fit the wire gauge you're dealing with. These wires are 14 gauge. All right, then we take our newly crimped wires. We're going to put them onto the new batteries. Uh, make sure you get the order right. So we're working these in series. The fuse goes between the uh, innermost black and red. And the outer posts, the wire on mine was color coded. It has a red wire and a black wire. So you can just hook the red to the red and the black to the black. The assumption here was that the battery was the problem with the scooter, but before putting it back together permanently, I wanted to double check that. So I'm just putting the batteries in temporarily, I'm going to get them reconnected to that connector. Then we can plug the 
scooter charging cable into the scooter, into the wall, uh, indicated red light that it was charging. I waited just a couple hours, came back, it was green, indicating full charge. And the moment of truth. All right, now that we know the batteries are fixing the problem, I pulled the batteries back out and I want to get that heat shrink tubing slid onto these connectors, put a heat gun on it, shrinks up the tubing, makes a nice tight waterproof connection, and I do that for all four of these connections. When I took the batteries out, the terminals were covered in silicon, I assume to help prevent corrosion, so I did the same thing on the new batteries. I had some silicon laying around, I just put generous globs over each terminal and then smush it around with my finger and let it dry. The batteries are going back in for good this time, so back in on their sides, makes it easier to work with that connector, get that connector uh, reconnected, turn them flat, and then restrap that Velcro strap. Easier to say it than to do it, for sure. Now we're on the home stretch. We had that little plastic brace that just sits on top of the batteries. Put that back on. Take the seat assembly, put that back on, four screws. Close it up and we are good to go.